A huge policy change for the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. It will no longer perform no-knock warrants. A no-knock warrant, by the way, allows officers to enter a home without first knocking and announcing their presence. RTV6's Megan Sanctorum spoke with IMPD Chief Randall Taylor to find out why this change was made and how it might impact the city. It's a practice that's been described as dangerous for both community members and the officers involved. And it's a practice IMPD will no longer be using. I think it's the right thing to do. I think uh, uh, the community will appreciate it. I know the officers can appreciate, will appreciate it, so it's really a win-win. Chief Taylor says no-knock warrants often lead to violence. It's something we've seen across the country and something that's gained a lot of attention lately after police in Louisville shot and killed Brianna Taylor in her home. That happening during a no-knock warrant. We've seen in different cases, different parts of the country that that hasn't always worked out best. You're coming in unannounced, people don't know who you are, so uh, tendency for violence could be greater. Department leaders say they do not have statistics on how often they asked judges to grant no-knock warrants, but they say the frequency has decreased over the past few years. Uh, officers are, are good enough now that they can find other ways uh, uh, to do those warrants. You know, maybe it'll be you, you'll talk to the, the suspect while they're not at the house or an establishment or something like that. So there's these different options that uh, won't put them in jeopardy and, and won't put the community in jeopardy. This order now officially ending it. The Indiana Senate and House Democrats have been calling for statewide police reform. That included the ban of these warrants. Senator Greg Taylor says he hopes other departments will now follow IMPD's lead, and he hopes this is the start of additional changes. I might call it many steps, but sometimes you've got to take many steps before you uh, uh, get to the big step, which uh, is going to include a lot of other things than uh, police reform. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6. And we requested information from the courts on how often no-knock warrants are served in Marion County, but have not yet heard back.